OK Ads Basket and Check Out and Pay. For God's sake, just take my money. Hey guys, Disney's Villainous Prince here and it's time to get my first impressions of the next part of the Mickey Mouse Main Attractions Collection. But first, let's talk about the nightmare we call Shop Disney. So it looks like Shop Disney UK are back to their old tricks once again. Now, first of all, intro video to this video was actually filmed just now because I'm wearing the same clothes. And that's due to the fact that basically on the day of release, which is usually the last Friday of the month, I was actually at work, so I couldn't actually record the whole nightmare that was going on trying to get the February editions of Mickey Mouse, the main attractions. Now, what Shop Disney introduced halfway through the Stitch Crashes Disney collection was they actually introduced a waiting room. That means that any special edition or limited edition items that were getting released at 8 a.m. that day, 10 minutes before they go release, a waiting room would be activated. So that means you log in at 10 to 8, you get placed into the waiting room, then from 8 o'clock onwards, when it's your turn to buy the items, you've got 10 minutes to actually search the site and actually check out and pay. So did it all go to plan this time? Not quite. Items went live at 8am. Waiting room went live at 8am as well. Now you're thinking, whoa, what's going on? Hang on, I should have been placed in the waiting room when I actually first logged on at 10 to 8. What's going on? Is it my fault that I've not refreshed the page? No, because you get told not to refresh the page. You get automatically placed in. So you think, what's going on? But I actually managed to actually get on the actual store at 8.15 items were still there all in stock however though you add them all to your bag you go through the whole process of checking out you get to the card information payment screen submit your details enter your security code number press submit it's not even trying to authorize your card it's going back a step so you have to put in your card details again press submit it's not even trying to authorize the card what's going on so you're trying to do it multiple times and then that's when the ha it happens there's items in your bag that have now sold out ah so you look at the nearest window and think i'm gonna throw this phone out this window but you know i'll just keep refreshing my basket and lo and behold yes the item came back in stock and you think okay i'll just try once more and try and authorize a payment no it didn't go through you go back a step so you think oh what's going on but thankfully after numerous times i actually managed to actually get the items i wanted so let's have a look at what that stress got me Now, what is the inspiration for February's Mickey Mouse, the main attractions? Well, to answer that, you can actually look at the screen behind me, or you can actually travel back two years and actually have a look at the Minnie Mouse main attractions for the same month. And it is the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, I'll be doing a full review of Minnie Mouse, the Pirates of the Caribbean plush, coming soon. Now, my plan is to actually review both the Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse main attractions at the same time and comparing them and seeing which one is better. Is it Minnie Mouse or is it Mickey Mouse? At the minute, Minnie Mouse is winning 1-0 because I think the January Space Mountain plush um, Minnie Mouse is better than Mickey Mouse, hands down. So let's actually open up the boxes, what I've got here now, and actually get our first impressions of the Mickey Mouse main attractions for February. Come here, boy. 
So here's box number one. Yes, it's actually two boxes today. Now this courier service really takes pride in how they de deliver the packages. Really, Jane. Right. Yes. That's not going to work. Okay, now I thought the size of this box, big box, would have contained the Loungefly backpack due to the size. No, we've got the free set of keys, because if you spend over £40, you get some keys for free. So I decided to get another set of the stitch keys. We've actually got the February there we go, Min I was going to say Minnie Mouse then, Mickey Mouse Main Attractions key, which has got like, what is the actual name for a steering wheel on a ship? I'm calling it a steering wheel, and it's got a little skull at the top there, well skeleton should I say, with his hands on the actual steering wheel, and there you see the Cinderella's Castle with the 50th logo. Over. I do actually like these keys. I'll show you a close up. There we go. I'm actually liking these keys. These keys, and the way they actually come in sealed, they're quite a heavy, sturdy box as well. For £25, a big. Now remember, size of the box, I'm expecting a lounge fly backpack. We've got two keys and the invoice. It's the plush. Okay. Okay, now. This plush is a lot better, hands down, straight away, than the January plush. Um, it's got a little pirate's hat. Well, Pirate's hel hel I was gonna say pirate helmet then. No. He's got a pirate's hat on, and there you go, the 50th logo, which is, doesn't really stand out. No, it's on that ear. God, what's wrong with me today? Doesn't really stand out as much, but I'm loving his pirate outfit. And there it is, the iridescent logo. £32 though, still a bit hefty price, but once again, it is down to this logo, which you can't hardly see. And yes, I'm actually giving, I actually give Mickey Mouse for January a big thumbs down. I think for February, he's getting a big box too. Now, smaller box. This is what I thought the push would have come in. Um, okay, why is this? I don't usually come on, I'm sanitary. I wonder why that is. Odd. Instead of the ears, I've got another key. Okay. Weird. Um, the free gift, Hocus Pocus keys. Invoice. And here it is. Here it is the Lounge Fly backpack for February. A nice black and gold bag there. I love the design on the actual ears there. The actual black and gold Loungefly logo there, metal logo, Pirates of the Caribbean logo at the back, got a little compass design on that side, and again, where's the 50th logo? Maybe the 50th logo is not placed on these because 
these have not really shot up in value, well, shot up in price like everything else has. So I think that's why the 50th logo has been left off here because the 72 pounds now, I think the logo would have been put on it. You're looking about 85, I reckon. Yeah, I did get what I wanted, but I did get an extra key instead of ears. But that can be easily sorted though. But this guy doesn't disappoint. And it is kind of cool that you actually get a set now. Because my first initial thoughts about this Mickey Mouse main attractions was it's a lazy concept. But now that you're actually getting a set, it's kind of cool. Um, I will be doing a review of Minnie and Mickey, like I said, and seeing which one is better. So look out for those videos coming soon. Thank you, Commodore, for getting us ready to make way. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you're getting this collection and what you think of them so far. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Ah!